All right, I was given the challenge to uh, trade a paperclip for something more valuable, and I figured I could go around trying to trade things, or I could I could use the paperclip in a video, and then as I get more and more views, uh, the video itself would be worth money. So hey, this is how I'm making the, the paperclip more valuable. So <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I'm going to show uh, some metallurgy properties with it and a couple of other paper clips here and uh, I'm going to do the same thing that they did in the video it's a video uh, a channel called uh, Real Engineering and uh, they he teamed up with another YouTuber who makes uh, knives and stuff and they showed how to he do all the heat treating of steel uh, I'll put some links down in the uh, description but it's really cool all right, so first of all, I just want to show, you know, the typical strength of a paper clip. And I'm just going to do a simple test here. I'm just going to put it on the ground, and I'm going to bend it all the way up, and I'm going to bend it all the way back down. I'm going to do it again, all the way up, and it broke. So it only took one, two, three, or, you know, one and a half cycles just to, to break it and that's it. So we're gonna do some heat treating with a blowtorch and uh, we're gonna do it there. I also have some real uh, steel here and maybe we'll do the same thing with this too because this is gonna be much better results than just silly paper clips. But the paper clips will definitely change as we heat and cool them at different rates. So let's, let's get started. This first one, I'm just going to heat it up and then let it cool down slowly. I'm going to heat it up so it gets red hot. And I'm going to let it cool down slowly. And set it down here. This next one. I have some water here. We're going to quickly quench it. All right, here we go. And get it red, red hot. And I'm going to try to get it in there as quickly as possible. There we go. All right, for this last one, we'll do the process where they heat it up and quench it and then heat it up a little bit the second time. And I'm just gonna let it get warm but not too hot and then let it cool down and we're going to compare these three paper clips and see how just the different heat treatment processes can affect it all right so here's the first one i mean the the one that we uh, quenched it really quick and it's really interesting it wants to bend everywhere but right there. So right there it has become extremely stiff and really hard. So we're gonna see if we can't do that bending trick to it. Hold on, there we go. It's really hard to bend that one spot. So one, and two, And yeah, this is a lot tougher, really harder, to, a lot harder to bend than everything else is. And it seems a little bit, oh, there it goes. After about five, it broke. So it's stiffer, and it was able to handle a couple more bends than it was originally. All right, here's the one that we allowed to cool down slowly. And... Let's just feel it. Oh, it's super soft. Okay, so this one. Let's see how this one acts. So we're going to 
Oh, that's super easy. It just, no problem. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, it just keeps going. 17. What's interesting is it's doing a process called uh, work hardening. Everywhere where I bend it, it, uh, it actually heats up and it's getting uh, stronger but, and more stiff. And then a new part will bend, a new part will bend. It just keeps moving across. So this, this is just super pliable and it just keeps going. But if I were to keep bending in the exact same spot, it would it'd probably end up breaking just like all the other ones. But it just keeps moving to a new spot to bend at a different place because it's just so easy to bend. So it's really cool how that is. So if you want something really soft, then you heat it up and then let it cool slowly. And so if you're you know, forging metal, that's what you do to make it soft. You form it, and then when you want to make it hard again, you heat it up and then quench it. But that makes it super brittle. Um, and so then you do that last thing that I did where you heat it up just a little bit again, but not to the point where it's super red hot. And uh, then you get something like this where it is, it's stiffer, it's still stiff, but yeah, this one. It's not as soft as that one, and it's not as hard as the other one. And so you, you can find the perfect, you can fine tune the perfect properties that you want for the material that you're using just by how fast, how hot you get it and how fast you cool it. And it's, it's really cool how that works. Um, this right here is uh, known as spring steel. It has gone through all, all those stages of being heat treated and then brought to a point where um, it is really stiff and it'll spring right back, okay? So it's made for springs, and, uh, but it's not gonna be super brittle. But if I take this and I heat it up and I quench it, it'll be super brittle, way more brittle than even these. Like it's just gonna snap and break. So we're gonna do this this piece of metal just because it has uh, more carbon in it, which is what makes makes it so that uh, it becomes brittle when that happens. So we're gonna do one that we quench and one that we uh, let slowly cool down so we can see the difference. But right now, this is one that would have gone through the final process where you heat, quench it, and then heat it up to about, I think it's about 800 degrees, and then let it cool down. So it's already in that state, so I don't have to make that state again. This one I'm getting it hot, and then we're just going to let it cool down slowly. Okay, this one I'm going to heat up, and then quench it. Okay, let's do this one, because I know it's cold. We'll let the other one cool down a little bit longer. So this one should be super hard but brittle. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a pair of pliers here. So this side I didn't get very hot, so I'm going to try this side right here. I'm going to bring it in. I'm just going to bend it a little bit. I got some safety glasses on here, so don't do this without protection. And it just, it just broke right off. If I do the same thing with one that never got treated, I can bend it and, and it comes back still a little bit bent, but it mostly comes back. It's, you know, it's supposed to be springy. But there is a point where, it, you know, it won't come back, but it's, it bends 
and it still wants to come back. If I do the one that I did a slow, a slow reheat or slow, a slow cool down, I can bend it real easily, and it just stays put. So this one, this one's real easy to bend, real soft. So it works with more than just paper clips. Okay, so I can bend it, stays put, super soft. If I do the side that didn't get the heat treatment, this side over here, it's a lot harder to bend and it likes to spring back. So when engineers design metal, not only do they have to know what type of metal, but how to heat treat it. So it gets the properties that they want, so they can, can you know, get the best results for what they're designing for. So if you want something really easy to bend that stays put, here's that one, it's really soft. It can take a hit or a blow and it'll just deform. Uh, this one will spring back, the other one was really, would be real brittle. Now why would you want something really brittle? Well this holds an edge. I could I could probably slice my finger open on that. So when you look at a file, I have a file, a small file, but it's a file. Right. So I have here a file. This file can is is stronger than than anything, but if I don't know if you've ever dropped a file before, but they shatter. Okay? They're very brittle, but they're very tough. They're very strong. Uh, not tough, but very... Um, tough is not the word <laughs> when you're talking about material properties for this. Uh, it's very hard. Okay, so the hardness level goes up. Toughness is more impact resistant, so this cannot withstand... If I were to whack this with a hammer, it'd shatter. So it's not tough, but it is very... very because it's very brittle. But it's, it's so much harder than the other types of steel because this was quenched that it can be used as a file and it can cut through the other metals. So different, different heat treatments create different types of steel. When there's different levels of carbon and all sorts of other things you can mix in with it. And it's really cool when you get into material science and material properties, this, this is all the really cool stuff. And it's not just metal. There's even things like chocolate. So if you want to look into the material properties of chocolate and how heating it up and cooling it down affects that, that's another really cool thing to look into. I'll try to put a link for that as well. It's a great experiment to do with students. They can see how metal um, can be changed uh, just, just because of the way it's been heated and cooled. Uh, really great for material properties and material science. Enjoy.